Hey everyone, it's John Gonzalez from MLive.com and Michigan's Best. Welcome to today's video and podcast. And we have a very special show for you today. We're talking to Allie and Jack McGuire. Allie Merrick McGuire. I've known Allie for many, many years. We've worked together in Grand Rapids. Uh, and her adventures have taken her all over the country. And it's an incredible story. I hope uh, you can uh, listen to the whole episode. Uh, Allie reached out to me because of a Facebook post. Uh, well, I'm sure she'll tell you all about it, but she and Jack formed a company called AwarenessTies.us. It's a great story. Uh, I get a little uh, teary-eyed, a little emotional because what they talk about and what they're offering with Awareness Ties and Social Causes is so raw, so real, so emotional. It's what's happening in the world right now. They're doing it based out of Owasso, Michigan. Allie's from Grand Rapids. Uh, Jack is originally from the Flint area. Uh, but listen to their story. And uh, I hope it touches you the way it touched me. So, Ellie and Jack, thanks so much for reaching out. Uh, as I said, uh, folks, I'm really excited to talk to this, uh, this young couple. I've known Ellie for quite a while. Jack, I don't know as well. So I'm looking forward to connecting with him and, of course, reconnecting with Ellie. Ellie, let's uh, go back just a little bit. Uh, let's tell people how we know each other. I know you from Grand Rapids, obviously, and uh, you're foray into the wine world. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I started out with wine and um, did a wine series, my wine words, talking about wine, words my own, so just being sort of a translator for wine. And uh, went on from there, from Grand Rapids, from my home there for many years, to Chicago, and then to LA, and then to San Francisco, uh, you know, starting again with wine, but then moving to design in general and translating that way and telling stories through visual means and um, got into film, got into fashion and found myself at a very different place at the end of the journey, but right back here in Michigan. Well, uh, we're going we're gonna to catch up on that journey here in a second, but let's talk a little bit of wine only because the thing I remember the most about you and my time talking to you about wine is that you made it extremely accessible I think a lot of wine talk is maybe over our heads if we're not into wine, if we're not a wine snob. But I loved your connection because you you tried to reach people at the, the level that they were comfortable with. Right. Yeah, well, no, and thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that I felt like that sort of was, was my gift is, again, just to be a translator because, you know, wine can be wonderful and amazing, but if you're defining it in words that no one understands that's terms that are not relative to someone then what's the point what's it's not going to matter it's not going to you know what's the point so and what's really cool is that's one of our staples for awareness ties is accessibility and ease of understanding mm -hmm. yeah that's well I, I i can't wait to hear about awareness ties uh jack i know you're like excited let's let's talk about awareness ties we will <laughs> i promise folks I, I promise you jack we'll get to it um <laughs> but I, I do want to one more thing before we get into the story because sure. i'm really curious about how you guys got together and and, and everything and what you're doing with these social causes but um, you reached out to me, Allie, because I posted on Facebook uh, of celebrating my 30 years in Grand Rapids. I still can't believe I look a day over 30, but I do. Uh, <laughs> I've been in Grand Rapids for 30 years, but you reached out to me. So something must have spoke to you in my post. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, you know, just looking back at just doing this recount of, wow, these are all of the things, you know, and, and I think what was so beautiful about sh you sharing that and all of us getting a recap of what that was like for you, it gave us pause and made us sort of look back at ourselves and say, well, what has my 30 been like? And the fact that you said, you know, looking forward to the next 30, it's, it's like, hmm. And so, you know, when, when you said that to us, I said, wow, you know, here's John, like who's, who's been all these places, done these things and accomplished all this. And, um, and now he's not saying, so, so here we are. He's like, here we're going, you know, to look forward. And so when, when you said that, I thought, wow, yeah. And it's all about the stories that we tell. And again, how we translate um, uh, all of these things that, that matter so much. Well, I'm so glad that, that you reached out. I'm so glad that it, it uh, spoke to you. I cannot believe the response. I'm still overwhelmed by it. Uh, Jack, uh, I don't know if we're friends on Facebook or not, but you know, a mosquito just went by. Uh, I don't know if we're friends on, on Facebook or not, but I'll tell you what. Uh, the amount of love and support from everyone. And um, you're right, I look forward, Ellie. I mean, I only look forward. I look back only just to be sure we do we learn from our mistakes, right? Yeah. And, and, and we move forward. So, all right, awareness ties. 
Let's <laughs> let's get to it. So, but first of all, I know Jack. You're from. Let's get your background real quick. You're from Flint originally, right? From Flint, then to Frankenmuth, then to the military, then to Florida, and then all over, and then back to Michigan. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing. Same kind of. I had an F and B background. I uh, general manager of a brewing company, taught beer and wine, then went into banking. And sure, why not? I know, right? <laughs> learned the do? business <laughs> side and then went into uh, film festivals with Allie and then uh, built this company. Well, tell us, tell us your love story because you obviously met, fell in love, uh, have a family. How did, how did you guys meet? Well, uh, I, well, so I moved back from San Francisco to uh, Lansing and um, to get closer to family. I wasn't quite back to Grand Rapids yet, but I was moving in that direction. And, um, you know. We met online. We met online. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We're not ashamed for a second. Well, when you get our age, you kind of know. If you know, you know. It's, yeah. uh, we got married a month later. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, not engaged a month later, married, yeah, actually married. signed papers, and here we are. In no, that's, that's not true. In oh, fact, tomorrow's our third year anniversary. <gasps> it is. Oh. It is, actually, yes. Right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> well, you've only known each other for a little over three years. Three yeah. years, one month. Yeah. In that time, we built two companies, had a little boy, Forrest, who's now two. Mm -hmm. Together, we are a blended family um, with six children. Wow. So, ranging in ages from two to 20. So, um, right. two we're in busy. college, Two in college, two just out of diapers. <laughs> You guys have an incredible story. So you guys met online, and you you live in? Did you live in Lansing at the time? She did. I lived in Lansing at the time. And, yeah, and I, I had just uh, I had just moved back. Okay. So. So about a half hour yeah. from Lansing. Owasso, yeah, you're and you're in that area right now. Um, yeah. So tell us, uh, Jack, your experience in Hollywood, because I mean, Hollywood Film Festival, you're still involved with that, right? Well, it's on hi hiatus right now because of yeah. COVID. Um, some restructuring going on, so we'll see what it comes out as. Okay. Um, it may be Hollywood Film Festival. It may be more cause-related film festival. Sure. It'll be in Hollywood, but I mean, it was amazing. Um, I was executive producer, but we all had lots of hats. Yeah. Um, it was just a crazy time. Great to get our feet wet in in Hollywood, make connections, figure out how to run events. It was really yeah. good. Depth. Yeah. All right, well, all right, now let's get to awareness ties because I see, Ali, you got the tie on, one, a tie, and Jack, you're sporting the logo, which is, I yeah. love the logo, by the way. Who, who designed that logo? <laughs> we do everything in-house. Everything, yeah. everything's us. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so with the logo, it's, you know, it kind of looks like a sun, but it's not. It's mm -hmm. a heart in the center, and it's all these ties so that we're all tied together, and in the center of it all is awareness. Um, so that's at the so heart of it. The heart of it is awareness. Yeah. So tell us how you got to this point. What is it all about and what does it mean? Yes. So awareness ties really. So awareness ties is the official symbol of support for causes. So, you know, when Jack and I, well, actually when we were in Hollywood and we we're um, putting together a few different event concepts at Paramount, um, we were tying around an idea of a gold tie event. Mm -hmm. And we are going to have gold ties um, to be worn where the gold tie represents the gold standard in positive social impact. So, wow, what a great idea. Instead of a black tie event, it's a gold tie event. Yeah. And um, so, that, well, this is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And everyone fell in love with the concept. On our way back to Michigan, that right. over the course of that flight, we figured out, you know, we had our aha moment. We said, why just gold ties for social impact filmmaking? Why not all different color ties for all different causes because all these causes deserve to be supported. What if we, what if our ties, as opposed to wearing just a ribbon, what if you were to wear a tie and that were to be your symbol of support? And because they're zipper ties, they're easy to take on and off. So, so and they're conversation guys. starters. They're, it's conversation starters. It's amazing. Yeah. Right. It's not a high end pinky out sort of fashion accessory. Rather, as Jack said, it's just a conversation starter. But it could be because we rocked it at some big events. It could be. <laughs> we could start a new trend. John, we can send you one or five. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'm in, so we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Um, I'll wear it on my next search for Michigan's best. But I'll tell you what, though, um, the way, I mean, through, <laughs> through COVID, right, um, through what's going on with Black Lives Matter, um, everything happening in the world right now, the timing couldn't be better for launching this, right? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting story when you look at the blessing and the curse that have come from any event in life, I suppose. Um, 
it forced us to pivot as it forced everyone to. Yeah. We, previous to COVID, had events planned up in LA with Samsung and um, in Chicago on the top of the Witt Hotel with the American Cancer Society, all these things. And then, mm, so that said, so big uh, shift. a big shift. And we knew that while we couldn't get together in person, there were still conversations that need to be had. There were still messages that needed to get out. And so we, we reworked our, our platform. And as opposed to focusing on live events, we said, you know, it's really the statement, the content that needs to be um, captured and put out there. So we created an online magazine. Actually, that had started back in January, Aware Now. Um, we partnered with Issue, which is the world's largest digital um, publisher, mm -hmm. uh, and um, we work with them every month. We have, at a minimum, 16 million readers of our content. Yeah. Wow. Um, and so all of our content with Aware Now, it's all cause-centric. So each month we're taking a different cause and we're having conversations about it and really just using that as a mechanism to raise awareness. Right. Uh, so quite causes. simply, we, we switch from just the tie mm -hmm. to awareness ties everyone together. Mm -hmm. So so still playing with the name, awareness ties, and it's going with the magazine and our talks. So right. those are the two big pivots we made from fundraising. Exactly. So Because originally the ties were supposed to be two things. They're supposed to be assembled support, so everyone could show, this is my cause, this is what I'm tied to, mm -hmm. um, and also for fundraising, where we'd work with schools, with organizations where they could sell these ties and use it as a fundraiser. Um, so those are the two principal things we are going to do. But again, mm -hmm. with this shift, it has allowed us to evolve a bit and very quickly with yeah, the publication, so. and then like Jack said, with the talks. Our talks are take the place of our events. If you think about like TED Talks, right? So I think TED Talks meets causes. Um, so as opposed to a monologue, it's a dialogue. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is every month getting together a panel discussion. So amazing panelists from all over the board to come and join us online um, for a conversation about one cause or another. And uh, we have brought on board some amazing people. Tell me. Tell me who, tell me what's going well, on. Well, we got so lucky who we brought on yeah. uh, a month and a half ago, two months ago. Yeah. Lisa, uh, Bowman. Lisa Bowman, yeah. who is the former CMO of United Way. Mm -hmm. So oh. she's on board and, and she's actually going to be, she's a big factor in the talks. Yeah. Um, she's going to be our, uh, our moderator. moderator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just, just her knowledge and mm -hmm. Oh, it's just her power. It's like, whew. Just her energy. Yeah, like, energy. You're like in the same space, not in the same physical space, just the same mm -hmm. Zoom space, and you're like, what? It's right. incredible. Yeah. So in terms of people, though, one thing we forgot to mention, so we've got the ties, we've got the magazine, we've got these talks, but the people we have people. on board, right now we have 19 ambassadors. So for each cause that we represent, which, by the way, we represent 21 different causes, for each one of those causes, we have an ambassador. Um, who ha comes on board to share their story, to be the name and the face that's going to support this and drive it. We have everything from, you know, the world's first supermodel with Down syndrome, right. who lives in Australia, uh, to Tri Born, who has um, been suffering with an invisible disability, who is an incredible professional beach volleyball player who just won the championship. Right. Um, and headed to the Olympics, most likely. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other causes, Allie? Uh, some of the other causes include um, domestic violence, mm -hmm. um, gender equality, and then we have um, LGBTQ, veterans, um, veterans mm -hmm. um, heart disease. So it's kind of, it runs the gamut. Cancer, um, so many different causes. Yeah, 21. Um, go ahead. I'm just saying with 21, you're probably hitting a lot of different people that need that, that oh, yeah. support. And that's what this is. It's a stage for those causes. Like, yeah. we built a stage. We didn't need one more nonprofit. We needed a place to, sh to showcase the nonprofits that are killing it, that are really pushing the needle, that are moving the needle. Right. And that's, that's what we did. Right, right. Because when Jack and I started this whole thing, we we're like, well, what, what one thing do we want to do? So we want to do all the things. <laughs> so we said, well, you know what? We don't exactly, like Jack said, not just develop another nonprofit, but rather let's just build a stage. And because we've done that, now we can support 126 nonprofits, which we do in our awareness guides. For every cause, we have a guide that is a resource guide. This is where you give help. This is where you get help. And so in each one of those guides, there's six nonprofits that are listed with links and information so people know 
John, what it really is, is like, we are just like the gateway to causes. Anyone who's looking to get involved in a cause, like, where do I go? Where do I start? You start here. Th that's another thing. We're, we're, a, we're a softer entrance level to get involved in causes and whatnot. It's for schools even. Like, think of like younger generations. That's how we're going to change things anyways. Yeah. Younger kids getting involved, younger generations. Yeah. So think about doing a tie fundraiser in a school where all the proceeds go back to the school for sports or for arts. And instead of, you know, selling candy or, or chocolate, or, something that's going to rock your candles, teeth, you know. They can right. do, you know, spirit week or an awareness week right. where they get the whole community involved. And then instead of 50 cents, they get $10 per tie. That's right. Yeah, right. great. That's a great idea. And you're doing this all from Michigan, right? I mean, it's, oh, yeah. you're a Michigan based company, you're a Michigan based couple. Yeah, um, yeah. You're doing this international work right from your yeah. living room. Right. Yeah. And right under the radar. I mean, we're just, we're <laughs> just now getting people reaching out and say, Hey, I want to learn more about this. Tell me more about this. And it's an exciting time right now. She says just under the radar, but I mean, last month we had RG3 as our cover model for our cover story for our magazine. So, I mean, yeah. uh, do you know RG3? Uh, football player. Football player. Yeah. Who are your writers and contributors? <laughs> I guess you're right. It's all one stop shopping. There. Some people apparently. Um, no, so we and we do have um, we have some really incredible interns who have come on board and contributed. Um, we also work with our ambassadors to say, hey, sure. we know this is your cause, this is your baby. What do you want to say about it? So we empower them. Again, it's their stage. It's been so organic. We they are all involved, each and every mm -hmm. one of them, so intimately. Like they're like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? And it's 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 powering to see their passion for it. it. It drives us. Right. Well, and that's when you know that you're doing the right thing. Right. Is when everything does happen. We haven't forced anything, John. Like all this has been so objects, it's so organic. Mm -hmm. And it's been really, really incredible. All of our ambassadors, we've spent at least a minimum of an hour mm -hmm. um, with each of them on the phone, um, crying, laughing, like they truly are our family. And yeah. it's been really empowering. Mm -hmm. Ellie, you shared a powerful story on your website um, about um, where you click on founders and you go to your, your profile and you talk about an incident that happened when you were in third grade. Do you mind sharing that with, with the listeners about how that affected you? Yeah. And, um, you know, so uh, it was a third grade that I first realized that I was different. Um, it was in the third grade when we were learning about slavery in Mrs. Cronk's class. And a um, little boy sitting next to me named Tony, uh, we were all getting ready to go outside. And he's like, so Allie, but my real name is Alicia. Alicia, come clean up my desk. And I was like, clean up your desk and go outside, but come on. And he's like, no, you have to go and clean up my desk. And so why do I have to clean up your desk? You're brown. That means you're my slave. Oh. And I said, well, I said nothing. I went to the bathroom. I looked in the mirror. And I was in tears because that was the first time I realized I was different. And um, so then I couldn't wait to school, get out, sit there, just come on, come on, come on, bell ring, the bell rings, I'm right. home, I open the door, and my mom is there. She sees me with tears in my eyes, and she's like, what's wrong? And I look at her, and my mom's white. Mm -hmm. And it never really crossed my mind that she was. It never really crossed right. my mind that she was different, that I was different. So... You know, we all come to um, form an opinion about race, about who we are in relation to it at different mm -hmm. times in our life. I learned very early. Um, and I decided very early that I was not going to be just a shade or just a color. That said, because I, what, I did grow up in an all-white community, right. I um, always held myself to a very high degree. I felt like, I'm the black ambassador here. So, <laughs> damn good job. <laughs> So it was, you know, always getting a 4.0, always being the fastest one on the track and breaking records, always getting, being in the honor society and the prom and all the things. And um, I don't regret growing up in the community. I did the wonderful, amazing people. Um, mm -hmm. Some who started out with one perspective uh, about people uh, who are black and who changed their mind. Um, it's kind of a privilege, I feel like, when you get to be a change agent. Um, oh, it def definitely is, and, and uh, I can relate to that. Jack, while I wipe away my tear here, um, 
<laughs> when you first heard this story, um, how did you feel? Oh, I mean, just hearing it now, it crushes me. I, I yeah. just, it, instantly I think of our little boy and, and I can't imagine him ever going through something like that or right. um, and just how strong she is. But she still, even today, she, you know, tries to make sure she's always smiling when she sees people, if we pass mm -hmm. people, yeah. because she, she feels like she has to. And I, I hate that. Like, well, Ellie, I know there's a lot going on in your, in your head right now and in, in mine as well. And, but these moments, right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm a person that, that can relate with the last name of Gonzalez and having brown skin myself. Yes. I can relate to these moments when you realize I am different. People are treating me differently. How do I cope? You know, and I think a lot of us like yourself become overachievers. And I know that, I cannot let a moment waste. You know, I, I get to the moments where I wake up and I'm, a, I'm going, going, going. And people don't understand that. They're like, whoa, slow down there. You know, you, you got tomorrow. The hope the project won't go away, you know. Um, and, and I guess I can't relate to what it's like to, to be a person of color. And um, knowing that you have expectations that you have to meet and destroy at the same time, right? And um, that's a lot for us to carry. So it's great to see you and in, in you, you seem to have an incredible strength and incredible drive to do what you're doing with your current mission. Yeah, you know, it's, um, you know, and especially given these, these days and times where, I mean, it's, it's such a blessing to be able to um, have the, the floor open to these kinds of conversations, which yeah. is why of everything that we're doing with Awareness Ties right now, I think what Jack and I both are most excited about is Awareness Talks because our first one, you're gonna love the title of it, is Comfortable with Being Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a conversation, an unfiltered conversation about race, because these are the conversations that need to be had. You know what, I honestly felt like, I'm fine, I got this race thing under control, and shoulders back, and I, I got this, I'm, everything's right. fine. Right. Do you know every night when we watch TV, yeah. I am in tears every, it's... every single night, mm -hmm. and I realize, I'm, I am still a bit broken that way. And I think we all are, as a country, we're a bit broken and we, to heal, we need a to do that broken. together. And what if conversation was the cure for that? I right. truly think it is. Well, it's gotta start there. Yeah, I, I don't know about you, but I'll, I will, I walk a lot. I've been walking a lot since COVID and you know, mm -hmm. wrapped up at home and, and everything. And I see people in their neighborhoods and I live in a, in a you know, in, in a nice suburb near Grand Rapids. and. I see people tending their lawns, going about their business. And you know what I think? I'm like, it seems like we're just fine to just go through the motions mm -hmm. and do what we always do. And those issues will still be there tomorrow. And I think, what if we just took some time instead of making sure our lawn was perfect to make sure that we're perfect, to make sure they're or at least trying to help people, right? right. And I, I kind of get off on that tangent. We're like, you're wasting time. You know, let's, let's go do something, right? Let's not just, I don't know, more a lot again. Let's just go out and do something. But um, I think that just comes from having a different perspective of things. I agree. And, you know, it's, it's sharing. Sharing is caring, truly. So it's, it's sharing these stories, sharing these conversations. And, yeah. and, it, and, and you hit that right on the head because our next magazine is called Return, the Return Edition. Mm -hmm. And it's Return to Society, Return to Causes, mm -hmm. Return to Sports. Yeah, but I had a thought yesterday that I want to I want to write about. It's sure. it, let's return to normal, but that normal can be different. That normal has to be different. It can't be a complacent. We're 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 not aware. We have to wake up. Yeah. We have to awaken and change what the normal is. Yeah. Because if we don't, then we're just going to go like you said back to mowing the yard and and it's just daily life. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's going to happen a lot throughout the U.S where the major cities, I mean, people are protesting and they are awakening more people mm -hmm. day by day, but it needs to yeah. be widespread. Well, and, I, and thank you for bringing that up because, you know, when we look at where we're living right now in Owasso, right. mm -hmm. you know, here still there are very few people of color, very, very few. Yeah. And, um, you know, here, this is a town that used to be the, the base of the KKK. You know, there used to be marches and, and these kinds of things. Actually, so, our office was, oh, yeah. it, was 
we didn't know this. No. We had an office downtown that was actually the base of the KKK. Like oh. it was the same building. We had no like, idea. What? What is this? What? So how crazy. But so you go from that to we attended a rally in downtown, little downtown Owasso. Wow. Ra- they even closed off the street. People marching in the street. Right. And so there I am in tears again. Oh. Right. <laughs> you know. Um, but standing there and saying, no, we we do not agree with this. This is not okay. So to know that even in small towns, yes, there there are changes that are happening. And it's just keeping that dialogue open. Right. All right. Well, before we uh, get into more heavier topics, <laughs> because it sounds like we could, um, please, could you let folks know how to get involved, how to get more aware of what you're doing with Awareness Ties? Um, the, the website, you know, could, do they, do you, do you have to subscribe to the, to the magazine? I mean, give us, give us the lowdown. Give us, you know, make the sell here. Come on. All, tell right. Us. All right. Action. Action. Act. Now, let me, let me show you something. Thoughts determine what you want. Right. Actions determine what you get. Think, act, now. And that has become sort of our mantra that we have adopted from a song by our new ambassador to be announced soon, Thavius Beck, who's a musician and educator in New York. And um, so think, act, now. If you think that you want to start taking action, now is the time. Oh, wow, that really just rolled off, didn't it? Um, to go to awarenessties.us. So awarenessties.us. Yeah. Awareness ties us. Awareness ties us. Awareness ties <laughs> us. It just worked out that way. Oh, and, cool. um, so if you go to this site, there you can subscribe. You can subscribe to our magazine. You can click to learn about our talks and register for the talks. So from our magazine to our talks, to our awareness guides that have resources for each of the causes, to learn more about our ambassadors, and everything the magazine, is there. The magazine is free online. It is. Yeah. So just subscribe and, and we'll send it to you. And it's a really cool magazine because it's interactive. (laughs) So you can flip through the pages and you can click and watch videos like in the magazine itself. There's clickable links, all kinds of fun. Well, great job. Uh, Continued success for both of you. I can't wait to see where it goes. I mean, I really can't wait to see what you're going to do next and uh, you know, what happens and and where you take us. But thank you for sharing your story and, and sharing this, this journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening, John. We appreciate Mm -hmm. you. Thank you. All right. Take care. (laughs) Take care. Bye. Bye.